everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring, it will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year, I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Good evening everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Uh, we're starting the video again in the evening, uh, don't know why, we just are, but um, we're currently getting offloaded at the moment in, in Shep, we've got a load of pallets on, they're just coming off, I'm just going to walk out of the way now because he's coming back to take the rest of them off, but yeah, no, we're, uh, we're in, in Avonmouth in Shep. Um, going to get these taken off then we're going to head straight to Tetbury. I'll talk to you a little bit more when we're actually on the way uh, to Tetbury, uh, let you know what we've been up to today and uh, yeah we'll go from there. I'm not on the phone. <laughs> right I'll see you in a minute, I'll see you in a minute. Hello! Oh, you just <laughs> you just went down a little bit. Let me just sort you out. There, there we go. There we go. Could do getting a new uh, a new mount to be honest. Right, let's do that window up. Let's turn the ignition on first. How are we all doing? How is everyone? All right. Hazards off. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Right. We. I don't know if you've just told, been to, uh, just figured out or anything. We have just delivered to Shep. We had a full load of pallets. Um, which came from Banbury today, and uh, we delivered them to Shep in Avonmouth. Uh, it's worth pointing out, the time right now is, it's, it's almost half past five in the afternoon, it's dark out, it's not morning, it's evening, uh, and I've done a whole shift today so far. Um, I, <laughs> I actually started at um, quarter past five this morning, um, so we're on a 12 hour shift now. <laughs> so yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're ending, we're, towards the end of our shift, Sorry, my, my pen just fell out. I need to clean my cab tonight. It's a bit of a mess. The wires all over the place and I am happy. The wires will be being sorted out today. I'm also getting a little bit ill as well. Well, no, I wouldn't say ill, I've just got a bit of a sore, not, not even a sore throat, it's just more of a, yesterday it hurt to swallow. So, step swords. Um, I'll tell you what I should have done before I did that is sanitize my hands. <laughs> And there is a reason, it's because I've just been told that this place has an outbreak of coronavirus. <laughs> um, apparently a lot of staff have been sent home to be tested. So, happy days! <laughs> but yeah, no, I've got a bit of a, well, had a bit of a sore throat, so I'm just uh, having some now to uh, make sure it doesn't continue hurting, so to speak. Right, anyway, so, where are we? So. Yeah, as I said, we're in we're in Avonmouth. Uh, today, I did a delivery to Yate because they didn't want to take it yesterday at our, uh, our past two because their cutoff was at our past 12, which is absolutely ridiculous. I won't name the company. But not taking deliveries after half past 12 in the afternoon is mental. Absolutely mental. So I got there at half past two. Of course, they wouldn't take it, so I had to park up or go home. My boss said it was completely up to me, so I was going to stay out until my until my girlfriend said come home. So I went home. Um, so I did that first thing this morning. Then I got loaded out of Portby Docks. 
Then I delivered to Aylesbury. Then I went to Banbury, pick up the pallets, and I brought them here, which is where I am right now. So now you're up to date. Now we're heading to Tetbury. We're going to park on the gate tonight, and we're going to do a night out on the gate at Tetbury. Tomorrow, I don't actually know where we're going yet. <laughs> I reckon we'll find out before we get to Tetbury what we're doing, because um, the paperwork is normally left outside for drivers to get in the morning. So I would have thought it'd be there tonight as well. So we can uh, have a look at where we're going. There's not much in the sense of internet signal where we're parking up tonight. So I don't think I'm gonna have any internet. <laughs> so it's probably gonna be a case of just parking up and going to bed, I think. We should be there for about half past six, give or take. It only takes about an hour to get there. Um, so yeah, it's not gonna be mega late, but like I said, I did start at half past five, just before half past five this morning. So um, yeah, we're, it's gonna be uh, a 13 hour shift then. So, if we can get parked up before 13 hours, bonus, because then we haven't used a 15 hour shift, but I think we probably will go with 13 just. But we will be within a nine hour drive. I, did, I just did a print out, we've done seven and a half hours today so far. So, um, we've got an hour and a half to play with. It takes an hour to get there, so we should be just fine on the driving time as well. So yeah, that's the plan. Go to Tetbury, um, park up for the night. I'll see you when we get there. I'm not gonna, not gonna end it just yet. And then, uh, see what we're doing tomorrow but I get the feeling we're going somewhere quite far I'm not sure but we'll see we'll see right I'll see you when we get to Tetbury Okay, here we are. Um, you probably see me better if I turn around this way. So we're now parked up outside Tetbury, as I just said, on Z GoPro. Uh, there's the truck. Just gonna leave the lights on a little bit just so I can see a bit easier what I'm actually doing. But we've, uh, we've, got, we've got to walk all the way down there now, get our paper. Well, we don't actually have to, but we will. I get my torch out, look. Where's my torch? There we go. Aha, now I can see. Mm -hmm. Go for a little walk. There's the truck over there, look. Let's go get our paperwork. Oh, puddles. Nice. Oh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> it's like the third one in the back, in the front zone. That was very quick. Right, we got Dr. Chelmsford and a Dr. Molden. Uh, Chelmsford, we got one that one pallet one pallet of uh topsoil and 19 bags of uh topsoil and then on the molden job we've got six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen pallets so yeah 14 pallets for the first drop then one pallet and 19 bags for the second drop that's what we got okay walking back to the truck now uh i was gonna undo the curtains so it's like one job less to do tomorrow morning but uh i can't be bothered <laughs> to be honest with you i'll uh because i'm gonna wake up tomorrow anyway about half six uh probably put my card in quarter seven and then someone will turn up about seven o'clock when they turn up i'll uh i'll undo the curtains then card will be in checks will be done and then i'll undo my curtains but yeah, this is home for the night. A little bit, little bit freaky, but uh, I'm sure we'll be okay. I'm sure we'll be okay. Right, I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> night night. Oh, ambulance. Ambulance. Hello, welcome. It is the next day. How are we all doing? We all good? Um, so yeah, we stayed at Tetbury last night. We got reloaded this morning. Um, 
we left about quarter past eight, something like that. It was pretty much still dark. Um, and we've been driving now for three hours and 12 minutes straight. Uh, but we are now approaching our destination. We're still a couple of miles away. Um, but yeah, it, it's a bit of a trek to get here from where we got loaded, but never mind. We've got two drops to do today. Um, one in, I think it was Morden, I think they call it. And one in uh, in Chelmsford. This one we're going to first. Uh, I think it's called, on the paperwork it says Morden Garden Centre. But on Google Maps it just says Claramount or something like that um, but the, the Claramount phone number is the same as the phone number I got my paperwork so I'm assuming they're the same company just different names so I'm, I reckon they've done a name change or something um, so we're, we're gonna head there anyway and hopefully um, hopefully all, all will be well <laughs> but yeah sun is out it's a beautiful day today uh, what's the temperature outside 10 degrees so it's not the warmest but uh, it looks all right outside, not not too shabby. First drop, we've got uh, 15 pallets coming off at this first drop. And then when we go to Chelmsford later, we've got 19 bulk bags, which are double stacked and one pallet. Uh, and then we've got to get reloaded about 10 minutes away from our second drop, if that, uh, and then go back to the yard. That's it, nice, nice and easy day. Um, just a lot of driving really, because you know, going to be another three and a half back <laughs> um, and then messing around in between so we're going to be pushing eight, eight or maybe nine hours driving uh, in total so we'll, um, we'll have to keep an eye on that but we do have a 10 if we need it uh, we've actually got two tents if we need it so we can use another tent tomorrow uh, when we get reloaded from Chelmsford we're going to be going uh, tomorrow being Friday to Cardiff, Swansea and Carmarthen and I might record that and put that in a separate video so uh, yeah stay tuned <laughs> anyway we're nearly here okay so we should be able to see it very soon around about 11 o'clock direction I think it's just past those bushes just got to come down here uh, towards the left and it sh we should we should see it very soon left at this roundabout and then left again Yeah, it's pretty much behind these houses. We can't actually see it from where we are right now, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll see it in a second. That's pretty tight around that bit. <coughs> there it is. I see it. I see it. It's on the left of me. Right, let's go left here. I think we've got to take quite a, quite a wide swing to get in as well because the entrance looks a little tight on Google. So I think when we turn left, we've got to be on the other side of the road just to actually get into the place. Let's have a look. I'm going to start indicating now. Yeah, we've got to go in there. There's a car coming out as well, so we're going to have to wait for that car to come out. And there's a lot of pedestrians. And it does look a little tight nice wide swing to get on in we are going to go on the pavement just to get the trailer in once we're in it should be alright we've got quite a lot of space in here it's just just that original turn which looks a bit tight we've just got to be careful of the pedestrians now that trailer was definitely tight on the entrance yeah once we're in here look there's loads of room to swing round but I'm going to assume we go straight down the bottom Watch the pedestrians. Thank you. Yeah, we can swing it round here, no problem. Right, let's find out where where we're actually need to be to drop it off. There's there's pallets right in front of us, so I suspect it's right there. So I'm just going to stop here a second, put the hazards on, and uh, go and see someone. Ugh. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're currently getting offloaded uh, in Morden. That's the trailer getting offloaded there. Uh, once that's getting offloaded, we will then make our way to Chelmsford. 
because I'm in an area where there's a lot of elderly people, I just thought it'd be safe just to wear my mask. Uh, well, actually, to be fair, I went in, actually inside the garden centre to try and find someone. So um, I just thought I'd just keep it on just to be extra safe. I don't want to be spreading germs. I've been coughing this morning anyway, so like I don't want to spread any germs. Uh, but yeah, we've got three more pallets come off. We, we've got 15 in total coming off. Uh, and then we're going to make our way there. But yeah. All is good. The other side's already been done. So it's literally literally just that side it needs doing now. Uh, when these three pallets come off, we'll, uh, we'll be good to go. So there she is. Winter spec. It's actually really dirty. It needs a wash. Uh, maybe over the weekend. <laughs> right, let's get these off. See you in a bit. Right, we're done. Let's take that off. Put the paperwork away. I'll uh, put it in properly in a minute. Uh, just got to put the next destination in. I've already pre uh, preset it last night. Uh, oh, which one is it? <laughs> There's two in Chelmsford. I need to make sure I go to the right one first. Let's get out out of here now without taking anyone out because. Where he's put these pallets is right in the turner circle. There we go. Okay, let's go wait for some of these cars to come out. Look, come on in. Come on in. We're going to turn right out of here and turn right around about. I am literally waiting, come on. Let's go. Hello, you right? Yeah. going on take it we're good to go I'm not sure what, what was going on there <laughs> not sure at all anyway we're out <laughs> I'm trying to give room for everyone I don't want to be in anyone's way and I wasn't really sure what was going on then never mind we're, we're, we're heading out hopefully no one's on their way in because I need to take up the whole road Good. There's your left, yep. Yeah. Sun is bright. We're gonna be wheel spinning out of here. Ooh, we've got room, we've got room. There's a tractor on the left, so it's giving me some room to breathe. Out we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, yeah, so we're on our way now to Chelmsford. It's 12 miles away, should be there in about 22 minutes. About half past 12 we'll be there. Uh, get the rest of these bags taken off, then we can go and get reloaded uh, and then make our way back to Swindon. We've got to start thinking about a break at some point as well. We can get this off first before worrying about a break. Uh, what time did we start this morning? We started at... It was quarter to seven my card went in, so we can work until... Uh, quarter one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What? Yeah, quarter one. Okay, yeah. So actually, yeah. Uh, okay, I need to, I need to have a break. <laughs> um, okay, there's a, there's a couple of layboys down here I saw, so I do I do actually need to stop for a break before I get to the next destination. Have a 15 minute break that will clear my working time, and then driving time I got an hour and 10 minutes left. So um, yeah, we can have a 15 minute break, then go to our destination, deliver, then go to our other de destination and reload, have a break. 30 minute break and then on the way home and then, and then continue going home that way. So yeah, I'm going to pull up somewhere and get a break in for 15 minutes. I'll see you when we get to uh, to the next drop. See you in a bit. Okay, we are in Chelmsford. 
the birthplace of radio. I've got a car right at my bottom. That sun is bright. Right, we stopped for a little cheeky break. Uh, so we've cleared our working time now. We'll just need to uh, get this delivered off. Maybe we'll get reloaded and have a half an hour break on the way home. Uh, this place we're going to, I think it's the channel, it's building spot or something. It's right on the corner of a roundabout, it's quite weird. We're just, we're just about to turn up. Half a mile away, at the end of this road. Hopefully we can get this offloaded relatively fast. We shall see. Place does ring a bell though. I'm sure I passed it, I just can't remember if I've actually delivered to it. So, if I'm right, then it should be on the right. So I need to get over to the right. Ugh. I believe it's just there on the right hand side. Yeah, no, I don't think I've been into this one before. There is one of their own trucks in it now. I can see it's. I can see the high ab is already up in the air, so hopefully there's room for me to get in. Where are you going? Straight on. I just seen someone outside. Which entrance do I want? Thank you for letting me know. I take it we stop here where the sign says stop here. Oh, there's a. Sorry, <laughs> it's a bloody truck in here. Look. I wouldn't expect him to see a truck in here. Uh, it might be a bit hard for him to get out. I'm going to have to push over to the left a bit. Not quite over enough. There go. So there's a white car coming out, I was just letting him have some room. Let's get on over a little bit to the left. We go. Hopefully, I'll have enough room now, and I've come back a little bit more to give him more of a swing. Excellent. Right. Let's go see someone. Um, if we're actually here, where we are right now, we can get a break in because we're not doing any work. But we're just waiting around. So I'll we'll see if we can get a break in. Why not? Right. Um, hopefully, it takes half an hour now. <laughs> see you in a bit. bags are coming off now we did have 19 on uh, going all the way to back there but now they're all coming off happy days right that's that one done let's just put the paperwork away put my phone away in drive Oh, hit the microphone. <laughs> yeah, lovely doubly. Right. He's opened the barrier for me. Happy days. I need to try and get out of here now. It's going to be a little bit tight. We're going to get the, uh, the tail end past the building. Happy days. I don't know if he's going to go forward because my, my uh, back end of the trailer is going to tap him if he doesn't move forward. There we go. This is an awkward turn, this is. The trailer is still uh, catching on there. days and around we go. Sandman's telling me to go up there and turn around and come all the way back but I don't know why. Just come this way look. Right we're only two miles away. So we'll be there in a minute. 
Right, we, um, we're three quarters of a mile away, and I remember now Chelmsford. It's a bit stupid, really. <laughs> Road layouts is like. I don't know which lane to be in, so I'm just sticking with the middle lane to be safe so that way. Because I've got to bear right soon, I think. So I'm sticking with the middle lane to be safe. Uh, I've got a lorry on the left hand side, so he's going to have to wait because I'm empty, so I'm probably going to be faster than him anyway. So. But yeah, we're three quarters of a mile away. Um, we've got to go get loaded now with, I think it's like plasterboard, not even plasterboard, what is it? Like polystyrene. The stuff you get in boxes to protect stuff, but it's like industrial sized and fills the whole trailer. Um, it's like the lightest load you can ever get. I think like the only lighter load you can get is is air. <laughs> um, it's just pure polystyrene. It says ten ton. It ain't, it ain't ten ton. You could probably lift the whole lot up, <laughs> like by hand. <laughs> you'll, you'll see in a minute when we get there. I'll show you what it looks like. But it's just literally white polystyrene, industrial sized. Anyway, we want to we want to take the 1008 B 1008. It doesn't actually say on the sign where the B 1008 is. So we're just gonna gonna hog the middle lane. Doesn't even stay on the road. All right, we wanna we wanna go left and then bear right. We've got a car coming up on the right hand side. I'm on the right lane. Yeah, I'm in the right lane. This this lane does go right, which is where I wanted to go. Excellente. This is gonna be pretty tight for a truck to go around with cars on the inside. So I'm just gonna. Watch, see what this this guy's doing. Uh, yeah, he's realised he's backed off. Lovely. Oh, now we want to get in this lane. Chelmsford, honestly, what what the hell are you doing with your lanes? It's just not very clear. I don't know, unless I'm just being stupid. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we want to go down here now. Turn right. I probably am just being stupid. Let's be honest. Ah, oh, bloody traffic lights as well, man. I believe we turn right at this roundabout down here. These two lanes go into one in a minute. Why Why even have two lanes here? We're going to turn right at the roundabout. And then we're going to turn left. And then it's on the right-hand side. Last time I went in, <laughs> I remember, it's on the vlog. Last time I went in, I, I spoke to a, a forklifter. I said, right, mate, where do I go? And he just literally just looked at the big sign that says driver's goods in this way or something like that. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Should have seen that. <laughs> so I won't. I won't miss it this time. Oh, we've got one car down on our driver's side, look. We'll, um, we'll probably let him go through. Well, I say let him, I, I won't have a choice. I'll be four throttle, but it'll still most likely beat me. As will the car behind him, the Toyota behind him. Right, can we go now? I'm just going to put my handbrake off. Oh, sorry, handbrake on and lay off the brake pedal, because I was on the brake pedal. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I mean, come on, there's nothing coming. What is stopping me from going right now? Come on, apart from the red light. Thank you, like, why? Why take so long? What, is this white car going? No, white car staying behind. Uh, I just gotta check the old mirrors, make sure they uh, they don't come on through. Is that wide enough for a lorry in a car? I don't think it is, you know. I don't think it is, you know. Come on. Come down here. Oh, we got a break in, by the way, when we were there. We were there for about 40 minutes before we got let in because uh, of the because the Arctic was there. So uh, we were on break on the way. Uh, well, on that on that little bit of road that we parked up at. So um, happy days means we ain't got to stop now on the way back home. Hopefully, I don't. I can't see why we would, but. Yeah. Oh, I remember now. This is where a car beeps me as well because I didn't let them out or something. I'm gonna have to be careful for the uh, cyclists on this left lane. I remember now. A car was coming out, and he, she honked me because I didn't let her out. Which you know, I don't need to let her out. It's my, <laughs> my right away. Right, we're gonna go left here. Oh, there's loads of trucks. There's loads of trucks in here. We could be in here a while. Okay, no, there's only two trucks. There's four trailers, but only two trucks. So we we'll go over here, we we'll park up, put the hazards on. Actually, no, we won't. We won't bother putting hazards on. Number of days since last lost time accident. Last lost time accident. That's a cheeky way of saying 
They can have accidents, but they don't mark her down as long as it didn't cost them any time. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. I need a face mask. The last time I come here, last time I come here, they kicked off because um, I wasn't wearing a face mask. I had a face mask. Why are you beeping? I had a face mask, but I wasn't wearing it, so I better put it on. Go give them a reference number and uh, see if they can load me. Oh, last time I was here as well, they moaned that the trailer wasn't tall enough, which it actually is. They asked for a 4.2 meter trailer. And I got a 4.2 meter trailer. Anyway, let's go and see what they say. See you in a bit. Okay, trailer is currently getting loaded. Uh, that's what I was talking about. So that's black polystyrene. We've got some white ones going on as well. Um, maybe that's going to be fully loaded with polystyrene that. Uh, no strapping involved either because it's so light and I've got XL rated curtains. Curtains will hold it all in. So happy days. So we'll just wait for more to get loaded and then we can get on. Yeah, it's half past two now. So like time's getting on as well. So we do want to be getting a move on. Yeah, a bit. Okay, we're done. We're loaded. Face mask off. Three drops. Uh, first one is for Cardiff. Second one is for Neef. Third one is for Carmarthen. For tomorrow. Um, not today. <laughs> uh, so I got the satnav taking me directly back to our yard. Let's take that off because we're done now. <laughs> ETA back to the yard is at 10 to 6. It's quarter to 3 right now. Uh, so yeah, it's getting on. It's getting on a bit. We've done only 13 minutes of driving because uh, we left from uh, our last drop. We're going to go anti-clockwise around the M25. Excellent. Put our lights on now because uh, it will be dark by the time we uh, get back to the yard. So I'll just put them on now, leave them on. It's done then. So yeah, we're gonna leave here. We got uh, about three quarters of a load on. Uh, it's not even fully loaded. Oh, big butt. And uh, first drop is like two lifts. Maybe three lifts. Maybe, actually I think it's four lifts. First drop is, first drop is four lifts. Second drop is one lift. And then the third drop is four lifts. So I'm gonna be at each place for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops tomorrow so that's happy that's happy days good 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 right that's going to be it for today's video i am going to continue vlogging uh but it's going to be in the next video come on now mate come on i can't get past you there come on come on seriously come on bloody truck coming down now as well he ain't even spotted me is he the truck hasn't spotted me he's just going to come straight down Didn't even look, mate, did you? Okay, you're going in there, okay. Happy days. If he was coming down here, that would cause a bit of issue. But he's going in where I've just been. Lovely jubbly. Uh, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video when we deliver these uh, polystyrene, uh, whatever you want to call them. Don't even know, really know what you want to call them, but uh, I will see you in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.